some of the best art turns out when it's an accident. Just being open and being allowed to play with whatever art you're doing, break the rules. I do a lot of things that I think people would be like, I'm really shocked about. When I am doing my artwork, I am so into my art. I'm not in the room, I am there. That's when I hear messages. And if those messages ring true to me, I think that they'll speak to other people. That's really the magic behind it. I feel it, I, it ties in with the art and I just pop it on the back of the stone. Started off with stones, moved on to tile. The tiles are interesting because I have, a, it's, a, it's like a branch of a tree. My husband came home with some tile that left over from a renovations job and he asked if I'd you know, like to try painting them. And I thought, okay. So they turned out really great. They turned into really cool artwork. Then I got brave with canvases. I was asked by um, an art gallery owner if I could paint bigger. And I thought he meant bigger rocks. And they're really heavy. <laughs> they're horrible to hold. And uh, so I said, no, these, these are it. And then John, being my awesome husband, he's like, no trees, he means canvases. Well, I, I instantly got thrown back to my high school where I sucked at painting. Finally, just before Christmas, I said, okay, I'm ready to try painting on canvas. He got me just a plethora of paintbrushes and paint stuff and paint everything. And I said that they would be my victim canvases because I'm going to destroy them. They're going to be horrible and they don't deserve this kind of death. And surprisingly, they did not turn out terrible at all. Art is one of those things that it gives you an awful lot of freedom to do what you want. And when it's art, it's not wrong. <laughs>